Hey guys, welcome. It is day 207 of 366. If you're joining for the first time, my name is Dan Quayle and I'm reading The Daily Stoic by Ryan Holiday. And um, I'm just throwing these out there on a bunch of different platforms and I hope that the teaching will cross the path of someone that needs to hear it. So, December 22nd, stake your own claim. For it's disgraceful for an old person, or one inside of old age, to have only the knowledge carried in their notebooks. Zeno said this, what do you say? Cleanthes said that. What do you say? How long will you be compelled by the claims of another? Take charge and stake your own claim. Something posterity will carry in its notebook. That's from Seneca in Moral Letters. <clears throat> Musing in his notebook about the topic of immortality, Ralph Waldo Emerson complained how writers dance around a difficult topic by relying on quotes. I hate quotation, he wrote. Tell me what you know. Seneca was throwing down the same gauntlet some 20 centuries before. It's easier to quote, to rely on the wise words of others, especially when the people you're deferring to are such towering figures. It's harder and more intimidating to venture out on your own and express your own thoughts. But how do you think those wise and true quotes from those towering figures were created in the first place? Your own experiences have value. Your own experiences have value. You have accumulated your own wisdom too. Stake your claim. Put something down for the ages in words and also in example. So guys, what is a, uh, what is a lesson, a lesson? Maybe some, something simple handed down to you, maybe by a grandparent or something like that. And what's also a hard one, hard one lesson that you've learned. If you learned some hard lessons in your life and, uh, really learn them? Are you going to repeat the same mistakes? Um, let me know what you've learned, you know, for the uh, something positive, something negative. Um, I love to hear it. Something that I know is, um, let's do a, uh, let's do a simple one, health and fitness, um, something physical. Um, I was a personal trainer when I was 20 years old. I'm 41 now. And uh, I've always lifted since I was, I was a little fat kid. I was like pretty chunky until I was about 14. Started lifting weights. Um, my sister was a wrestling cheerleader. And so I ended up going out for wrestling. I lost a bunch of weight. And I pretty much lifted, um, you know, consistently for 20 years. And it was about 2015. 2015, I, I was still lifting at the time, but... I kind of got overweight again, but like lifting was just a habit. My diet was shot. And what I started doing was I looked in the mirror. I was buying some clothes and I was at the, at the store and I looked in the mirror in the, in the fitting room and I was just like, God damn, I look like shit. And uh, I just started writing down everything I ate. Just, I didn't even need to know how many calories I needed to take in. I just found a number that was, I thought, okay, that's definitely less than what I'm eating now. Started eating clean and just started writing it down. Started writing it down. Between February of that year, 2015, to July, I basically had a uh, nice little gut, and then I had a six-pack. And I don't think I even had a six-pack in my, uh, or I had an eight-pack. And I don't think I even had one when I was a teenager. Um, let's see. <laughs> and since then, oh, by the way, guys, I also uh, started competing in bodybuilding shows. Because I was a personal trainer in 2002, and then I ran into my old boss, who I hadn't seen in like a dozen years. And he was, um, he was like Mr. Minnesota in the 90s. He's, he's, you know, he's 60 now. And uh, I ended up competing in a show. I've done seven shows now. Uh, one Minnesota Mayhem. Uh, one Mr. Minnesota. And uh, yeah. So it just all, all started because I just started writing down what I ate. So um, you can't outwork a bad diet. So there's one. Um, stay away from negative people. They come in all forms. Sometimes they come under the guise of somebody trying to help you. Somebody that seems so positive, but you can just feel it. You go with your gut. And there's just, you know, you just get a feeling about some people. It just doesn't feel right. Uh, been around some of those people lately. Uh, that's all I got, guys. Let me know what, uh, let me know some lessons you've learned in your life. 
I know in a previous video, I'm just going to say that uh, I know that if there's a lesson to be learned, the universe is like showing me, hey, this is a lesson you need to learn. And I keep repeating that mistake that the, um, the universe has a way of making the consequence harder and harder and harder. I said this in a video like 50 videos ago or something like that. But it seems like the consequences get more severe every time, even if it's the same mistake. It's just like the uh, God Almighty or the universe wants you to learn that lesson. So, uh, so there's another thing. Learn from your mistakes. Stop repeating the same mistakes. Uh, it's getting really long. I'll see you guys tomorrow.